Swanlings, and welcome to another stream! It's been, well, actually, it hasn't been that long, has it? It's been like five or six days, which is about a week, so a bit. Either way, I'm glad to see y'all here! Welcome, Cyan, welcome, Jack, welcome, Demi, welcome, Tori, welcome, Royal, and Flint. I hope y'all have a good time watching this stream. I think it's a good one. So, with that said, why don't we get right into it? And the ads are going burr. One of these days I'm going to actually remember to change the damn ads. I'm so sleep deprived half the time. And by the time I get to streaming, there is no time to do it. So we just cry about it, I guess. Um, I apologize sincerely. I swear to God I'm going to do this one of these days. I swear. Anyway. Into the thing we go! The day this thing doesn't look for a game. There we go. I haven't actually I haven't actually come back since was the last time I was here was after the aftermath of that shopping nightmare. I guess it really was. Landon, Adriatic. You know, if I was a betting woman, I would bet that I could tell- yeah, that. I- I already know. Look, why don't we talk about this in my office, okay? Yeah. I'll- I'll explain. As much as my sleep-deprived brain can. Alrighty. God, it's been so long. I can't believe during all of that, it was... I mean, I guess when war calls, I mean, you gotta go. And after the events of... Infiltration and... I never got a separate platform built for that. <laughs> it's probably in need of repairs again. Probably uh, looks something like it. I don't really know how that works fully, but... Oops, there we go. As you walk around your desk to take a seat in your chair, a place you haven't sat in for far too long, Landon and Adriatic likewise make, the, make themselves comfortable. Adriatic takes claim of one of the chairs opposite of yours, leaning ba the, of the one chair opposite of yours, leaning back in it and even looking mildly comical with her too tall stature. Landon, on the other hand, simply takes up post just slightly behind and to the left of Adriatic, furling her dark wings in to rest snugly against her back. I don't remember the accent I've done for Adriatic, so we're gonna have an interesting one. So, about locks. We failed to maintain order in your absence. I'm sorry. Look, I didn't ask either of you to come here to scold you about that, not this time. Well, I maybe should. Honestly though, those cells down there can hardly be called cells. They're not very secure, so I'm, I'm partially to blame. But, look, I've had plenty of opportunities to reinforce them, and I doubt you committed negligence while guarding him, unless you want to fess up to something, but... So I'm to blame for his escape, okay? It's only been a few days, so the trail shouldn't be too... How do I do that voice again? Fuck. It's only been a few days, so the trail shouldn't be too disturbed just yet. I didn't want to leave Lyondell unattended to track him, but now that you've returned... We're going to get that crafty rodent, yeah? Why do I try to do accents for these people? I know I gave them accents, but I can't. We're going to get that crafty rodent, yeah? 
If we let him stay loose, he might return to old habits. I don't think anyone wants that kid raining down light in the middle of the night. Not this time. As far as I'm concerned, Lux is a free man. Or Animan, I suppose. Either or. Whichever person may exist. Okay, I can't tell- I, I can tell that we're not getting the full picture here. Something must have happened while you were out and about, yeah? Just, what's changed your mind? He's a danger to Liondale that isn't something that just changes. Once dangerous, always dangerous. Does it have to do with how you already knew? Yeah. The situation was complicated. But the short of it... Okay. Short of it is that Lux sort of half-heartedly half saved me instead of letting me just die. His drive to end library is gone. Landon blinks rapidly a few times, a look of complete disbelief on their face. Adriatic isn't much better. Well, he did not seem as enraged as he typically was or is during his escape, I cannot believe that he simply gave up on his justice, or whatever he called it. Perhaps cl cleansing would be a better term. No, oh, that makes Landel sound like it needs some dusting. Dusting? Whatever for? I didn't mean it literally. Um, we... I suppose there's no use in hiding this. I guess I need to talk about it anyway. Are you all right? Saru? Medea was the greater ritualist of Kagishiro, and she kidnapped me during a moment of vulner vulnerability. She's been planning to do that for a long time. Wasn't in any state to defend myself, and then Lux was there! Medea, or Kagnishio, turned out to be his mother. No, it... Did I perhaps mishear you? Did you maybe utter a name that was only similar to Medea's? I... I cannot believe that she would do such things. Not to... I shared a home with her for months. I bandaged her wounds, helped her recover, and did all... All of it was an act? Lennon looks Adriatic, brow furrow furrowed, eyes troubled. Adriatic, you agree with me, yes? These actions sound nothing like the Medea we've known for so long. I don't think Swan would tell me these types of lies. I'm going southern, and Adriatic is not southern! I don't think Swan would tell these types of lies. What? What did she do? I'll just go British for her, because I don't know what else I'm doing with my life, clearly. Leader tried once to make me a battery. They learned that it was effective, but they... Well, I was broken out. This time, they wanted to learn how I tick and work, so that even if they couldn't keep a handle on me, they could mass-produce other batteries like me that would be just as good, if not better. Battery? You mean that whole this stuff you do? They wanted that? Yeah. She was ready to take me apart and... She's gone. Dead now. I... I had to kill her. She's gone... physically. And Lux is not attempting to avenge his mother. Yeah, I find it hard to believe that he isn't. The rascal's been so devoted to her, right? Loved her and everything. Call him Elior. Elior? He's... He's no longer Edict, and given that he no longer wishes to harm Library, I told him he's a free man. I mean... We were both tricked by Cognitio, and he'll have to live the rest of his life with what he's done. So, I see. I guess it's a good thing he managed to get out then, considering he said that he saved you and all. I'm not gonna thank him for it, though. Between you and me, that's just him scratching the surface of paying back the damage he's done. 
Have you placed yourself in charge of his redemption? No, but no, of course not. Just, I mean, he did a decent thing and I'm glad. I'm just saying he's going to have to do a lot more to make up for all that killing. I see. Oh, and so long as he doesn't cause trouble, I offered to let him come live here. It'd be with surveillance, but I don't want him to be locked up again unless he gives us reason, okay? The Dottlers will not be pleased, I imagine. Guessing that's Jordan and his kid? Correct. They possess good reasons to dislike, uh... They possess good reasons to dislike such a decision. I know. I'll handle that, and on that note, it's been far too long since I've checked in on everyone. Everything else has been running rather smoothly, but I assume you would rather confirm this with your own eyes, yes? Uh, yeah. Landon, mind tagging along? They stare for a moment, slightly surprised, but they promptly nod, offering a mild smile. If you wish, then I shall. Are we going now? Wow, way to make a girl feel like chopped seaweed! If you want to come, I don't mind. I just figured that you might want a chance to visit your brother. I figured that you probably haven't had the time recently, helping land and cover for me and all. Alright, Saru, you'll have to bear without me for a bit. I think I'm just gonna go fetch my brother and bring him here, let him see the sights. Just in case you need me to be close. I don't like being out of easy reach, given everything that's been happening. You don't have to. I assure you that I can handle things in your absence. Yeah, well, I've gotten pretty used to the idea of protecting this place, so you ain't going without me, okay? If that's what you want to do, sure. Landon, you ready? Yes. See you later, folks! Adriatic takes off first, using the fact that the stairs have no railings to skip farther down the stairs. Given that you don't hear any resounding crashing or other noises, it's probably safe to assume that she stuck the landing and didn't twist an ankle. Landon nods at you, and together you both make for the door. Hopefully our newest residents have been settling in fine. Might as well head down this way this time. This way never gets used. Such nice study rooms, though. And again, I guess it's a lot more doors to go through. Not Landon actually being responsible and closing the doors behind. Oops, no, not that way. Hold on, why did I actually take this way? This is the most roundabout fucking way ever. <laughs> Like, it works, but why did I do that? We question my sanity daily. That is true. Alright, I should have checked it on first. I mean, I guess there's the new people, but there's also the old- No? Uh, what was your name again? Sorry, we- Usually a little better with name- Ron. Okay, sorry about that. I'm- I'm not even gonna try to humor this. You needed to speak with me? As I stumble over my own words like I'm eight? Well, I guess I have convenient timing, then. Oh, okay. I mean, sure, I can spare some time for that. Why not?
mean, I'm sure there's ways we can find that, you know, all the others can, you know, pull their weight. I mean, I, I, y'all have, you know, obviously time to... Hello. I don't know why that nearly gave me a heart attack. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Listen, if you if we both sound as dead as we sound, it's fine. <sighs> that would be preferable. Would you mind? Thank you. You're a lifesaver, truly. Thank you so much. Okay, let's uh, step over here real quick. Okay. I haven't seen you since. Same here. They split ways, yeah. Yeah, um, I just I mean, brought the guys I, I've over. been to the... I contributed a bit to the war, but I guess we just managed to miss each other. I doubt you'd stay out of that, but... <sighs> yeah. <laughs> the war. Everyone got out okay, right, though? From infiltration? The infiltration people are fine. Don't worry. They're, they're rocking up behind. Not, Just give them a bit. At least that's okay? one positive. Which at least that's one, one goddamn positive. Listen. Listen. Easton was really worried about Sylvain. I know. So. I promised I, I'd find him again. Mm hmm And then I nearly didn't. What do you mean? I, I assume you just got busier with all the other stuff assumed I was fine, but I got kidnapped after I respond after the explosion. I don't I just it's a long story of what happened. I ran into difficulties with setting off the bombs and then I ended up probably I don't know. Does it, does it count as passing out when you were killed by explosives, but you were too dead to be on, like, conscious? Either or. I'm, I, I mean, I think I've seen it before. I came this close to suffocating. Holy shit. My lungs weren't working. Anyway, just, just moving on. Medea was Cognitio. What? All this time, I tried to protect her Wait. from everything. I w was willing to risk everything for her safety. And That's... all this time. That's what that book meant by Cognitio infiltrating. What? It was fucking her! What a... I thought I told you about this. There was talk about Cognitio infiltrating we something. There was not Cognitio that much detail. We heard... Lux speak of her once. We'd... Basically, what happened was I woke up drugged to high hell, but apparently my cybernetics came in a little bit of handy and they m did a wrong dosage. Okay. Guess the benefit I... of that? Yeah, so I was able to move, but I was weak as hell, and what she wanted of me was to essentially. All I am to the edict is a battery cam. That's all I want of me, from me. The power to, I don't know, manipulate raw this to strengthen their thumb, craft their spells, a new energy source? I don't know! They wanted Cognitio to take me apart and find out how I ticked. Get out my brain, mm -hmm. get out the whatever mechanics I have. And they were going to. I managed to fight my way down a hallway from the room I was originally kept in. There were no weapons, I had none. I had an axe that nearly broke instantly. I had a stick. <laughs> I kept seeing my friends and my family. She, uh, she was messing with my mind. She's cognitio. I mean, it makes sense, right? Yeah. So, fun, she... I thought she had done something to you guys. I thought y'all had turned against me, and it... She's dead now. She's dead. I guess Amory is the last contribution Medea ever made to our side. Makes me wonder, yeah. if she was Cognitio the entire time, why did she let us get away with it? 
I mean, she let us infiltrate that entire time. I mean, I've seen crazy. I mean, these past couple of days have been crazy. She wasn't crazy. She was dead sane. What's been happening with you? The others, the... <sighs> That's another reason why I wanted to come over and talk to you, actually. So, basically, we had an encounter with Rowan. What? When? Mm -hmm. I, that doesn't matter. Very what happened? Recently. So, basically, from what I know, at some point during this entire war, um, there's a soul well. So Alienus well. gave it to us. She, then what? it could give it to Mir. Because she actually she <sighs> saw what Rowan truly was. Didn't care about her or anything and gave it to Mir and um just left. So we had the crazy plan of trying to stop the All Knowers Ascension into Rem. Well, yeah. By going into the abyss. Okay, which that part could... I wasn't aware of, I don't think. Fern was able to find out that the soul wall could be used. The power of those souls could be used to open up possibly a gateway into the abyss. So, um, we fall. Be... Fern had this tracker as well that we were following to find a rift that we could use to open up a portal in the essence to the abyss and we did that i mean we did but then we we got overwhelmed and brax hopped in all, all alone only him in the abyss alone to fight jester you're kidding I'm is not. he insane he had no choice one I don't care if he had no choice. Does he want to die so badly? Well, I'm not done with the story yet. You think it's rough right now? Just wait till I'm done. Rex did fight Jester. Rex beat Jester. Oh, he's alive. Yes, he is alive. But... I'd strangle him if I didn't fear if, that his listen. stupidity would be contagious. Listen. listen. Yes? The plan was for the All-Knower not to ascend through Jester. The All-Knower ascended through Rowan Pierce. Jester been a distraction this entire time? He was just a pawn. Well, they're all pawns in some way, but... We... After the ascension completed, like, we were trying to get the pearl from Rowan. Like, me, Dan, Justin, Lily, and everyone that was there. We tried. Like, me and Ulrich, too. We, we tried. Uh, but okay? we were too late. He's fine. He's fine. All of them are they fine? Up. Yes, everyone's fine. But, okay. but basically, turns out after the fact of the Citadel, that's what this fucking crazy thing is called, got brought from the Abyss to Rem. What? Yeah. That's where Rowan is right now, at the Citadel. We know where he is. And we, we also have the location of Alacrim Fortress. We know where he is. Yes, we got it from Ignis's will. I chose a wonderful time to fucking leave. Well, we found out the information from Ignis's will. It's okay. 
Ignis, after that whole fiasco with Rex, Ignis took Rex, for some reason, to her home and basically gave him a chance to prepare to kill her because she wanted to die by the hands of Rex, her, like, I think her, like, equal adversary or some shit. And like she is rich. she is bat shit crazy like but there was also another bombshell of Rowan has this funky crown thing, right? That has like all these hovering crystals around it. Yeah. You know? They're they're connected with the sunshine crystals. And um I wonder if I can I, I like after it was mentioned I Noticed the def. I understand it now. Each of them was hooked up, like to supreme situation. Oh. Each crystal represented a supreme. A part of Rowan was in each supreme. And the only way to weaken Rowan is to get rid of the supremes. So Ignis had to die. Wait, isn't that a problem? I mean, technically, aren't they not Supremes anymore? They... They attacked... They attacked um, the mansion. Rex, Iris, Mir, and Wolf. Turns out Rowan showed up. And so that Rex could kill Ignis, Mir... Iris and Wolf fought Rowan. What? Rex came back with an Ignis Vis Ignis crystal. A Vidium crystal. An air crystal. And a Perdicio crystal. They're gone. They're gone. They're gone. Why would they fight a fight they couldn't win? They knew in the end that Rex needed to get Ignis and they knew Rex found out what Ignis had told him about Rowan and the Supremes. He told the rest of the Supremes. They knew. They knew. They knew what they were doing. They knew. I'm so sorry, Tim. And to top it all off, The good news is Jester's no more, but James's ghost is finally whole again. So oh, is James the James is James. Before? James is James, don't worry. No, like I I don't James I James is, is Sam's brother. Oh, okay, okay. Sam's brother was, was possessed correctly. and now was, was Jester. So James is back and he told us everything. And, um, Rowan's alone at the Citadel. We know where so, he is. What's yeah. our next step? Here's the thing. Rowan can kill vessels. He can. So... I guess the easiest way to say is we're asking all the vessels to say goodbye. <sighs> we're all going to go to the Citadel and stop rowing. That way the people here in Rem can live not having to 
be plunged into the void or anything by Roman Pierce. We want to give them a chance for future. It was about time that we risked our actual lives, wasn't it? <laughs> so. It's about time something finally could kill us. <laughs> yeah. My endowment Sorry. wasn't mine at first. Library wasn't mine at first, but I made it mine. I made something that would last beyond me. Last for the people I care about, be their shelter, their haven. <laughs> and to protect that haven and provide for them this one last time. I pretty much have all my fears in order besides them. Them. It's all I have left, and then off to the Citadel I go. Well, I need to get Lion Del in order anyway. We followed you, and mm -hmm. I assume we are done our explanation. Yeah, just give me a second. <sighs> I am not as close to you as others. But I've, we've been through so much in such a short time that I'm proud to fight alongside you, Kel. Same you here. and the others, if this is how it's going to have to be, I'd rather I go down alongside all of you than alone standing against this force. Well, glad you're had to have you on board on the suicide mission, I guess. <sighs> okay. If only we got easier to say goodbye. It sucks. Max told me once how to, but... He even struggled. Yeah. Well, I suppose my outfit will confuse them. A bit of a opposite, I suppose. I told them to keep an open mind. Is that... <sighs> Ghoster? Yep. She's safe. Well, they are still unconscious. That's concerning. The group of ex edict Edict looked quizzic. Can you read? I can't. Give me a sick, I'm actually crying. Oh, okay, I'm so sorry. Okay. I can read if you guys need to. Please I, I got help it. me. I, got I cannot I got read it. I got it. I, I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. The group of Edict look at, so at Swan quizzically. They all seem reasonably on edge, all standing rather clumped together, save for at least had gotten comfortable sitting upon the cobble, an unconscious ghostie held in her arms. No fuck on my Cameron. I I I'd assume Cameron. Oh god. Is this a friend of yours? They're now southern. <laughs> we have heard that there may be some housing available here. Alright. We need to keep this to one question at a time, guys. Eden, you had things to explain? Kat, can you just do Easton for me? There's too many guys. I don't have as many voices. Yeah, I can do Easton. Discord. Yeah, I'd like you to explain why you once again returned without Sylvain. It's starting to make me think that... I doubt she's lying to us, Easton. But... We're already here. Let's just... We can get angry if it's a shoddy explanation, right? Mm-hmm. We'll even pitch in to help you get your answers done. But until that point, Eden hasn't really given us any reason to distrust her. I mean, unless we count the whole conspiracy to betray the edict part, but seeing as how we've already agreed to that and done it, I think that book is a little overclosed by this point. Well... The explanation's actually pretty simple. 
this right here, girl with blue hair, this is Sylvain. Hello. She's not some random stranger. What? Wait, but they look completely different. This is getting a little weird. They're right here too, just also different? No. She died during the mission. She sacrificed for it. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. I... I guess it was too soon for me to think we made it out for an unscathed. Yeah. Can we be given answers now? We've been good and waited real patiently. Do you want me to explain or...? Uh, we can take turns. You can Pardon. go first. <laughs> Let's just rip off the band-aid. Yeah, that might be the my best. My name isn't Sylvain. My name is Swan. I'm a vessel and I'm the leader of the Library of the Lions. Cam? Oh, as, as Swan said it, my real name is Anita and I'm actually a vessel. Shocker. I know. Is doing a mute switch in the I don't know. We'll, we'll find out later. We'll find out later. We kill them. But yeah, basically, yeah. Me and Swan are both vessels, and we were under the guise of being Sylvain and Eden. We uh, infiltrated in the, the Edict to attempt to get information to hopefully bring the Edict to its knees. We were always on Dove's side, or Ghosty, actually, as her name That's is. her real name. Our entire squad was not, we were never actually Edict. We took over the guises of various other people that were meant to be transferred to the hub. We snuck in, we did our best to move up in the ranks, and then everything went to shit. Yep. We had to get our comrade out. And, well. Oh, we're here now. <laughs> and uh, the Edith Butcher is a friend of ours as well, so. <laughs> I think that's the best we can explain it. I think that really is. Uh... This is... The reactions vary, but the general consensus was shock. And yet, despite their evident surprise to some, it seems like they might have known it to be true somewhere in the back of their minds. I don't really know what to think. So all this time, you loony folks have been playing the world's most intense game of dress-up? Don't know if I feel impressed or sorry for you. Tack dangerous onto that, and I'd say that sounds pretty accurate. Why didn't you both tell us that you were vessels when we were talking about rescuing your friend? What did that I... I don't get it. We already knew that Dove was one by then. You, you told us. If you knew we were vessels and you got caught, that information could have been forcibly extracted from you. If our cover got blown, it would be far more difficult to rescue any of you if that happened. So, it was for our safety? It's sounding that way. Still, you could have saved me a fair number of heart attacks, young lady. Wait! Does she get to be a young lady? When does she graduate from kid? When she started raising my blood pressure on the daily, I swear. On second thought, I think I'm fine with kid. How many lies have you told us? All of us. How much of you was a lie? <sighs> we did what we had to do. I, it might just be me, but I don't really feel like Eden's any different from where we were inside. Well, aside from the whole brown nosing. Good thing she lost that. Hey! Still, it's conflicting. 
to learn that you thought you knew someone when in reality you never really knew them at all. Yeah. Well, let's look at it this way. We're out of the edict. Our lives are constantly, aren't constantly at risk anymore. We have the time to get to know them again so we can make that decision informed, yeah? I, I really didn't act much different with any of you guys. I just had to make some choices I really didn't want to make. Far more often than I ever should have had to make them. That could just be another... At least, um... Just, this will take a bit of time to process. I, I don't really think I'm mad, I, but I could just be numb. I think we're all in need of a break and some time to think. First, knowing all of this, do any of you plan to go back to the edict? Kid, we wouldn't have followed you here if we weren't even considering that as an option. Yeah, we kind of all jumped off the deep end, so... We've got nothing else to do but leave with our choices now. Good. I'm glad. Well, I for one want to check out the new digs! We were told that we could stay here, right? Yeah, we should probably get Dove or... Yeah, just Dove on an actual bed. Maybe some proper medical care, too? It, but, can't... Fine... But look, some of you might have to pair up for a short while. I'm kind of running low on available housing. Wait, you run this place? Yep, she does. So why don't we all take some time to relax and give Swan some time to get housing organized? Yeah, but I really don't want to keep hauling this blue one around, so... Oh, right. She has a house here. You see that tall house down on the end? On that side? Feel free to go in and drop her off there. I'll send some to check her, her over soon. Elise nods, and together she and Cameron walk off in the direction you indicated. They seem to have understood your directions, so that's good. Out of the corner of your eye, though, you notice a young, lanky teen sneaking off after them. Seems like Salt notices the state Ghosty's in. It's nice that they want to check in on her. As for the rest of the gathered people, they slowly split off, taking some time to really just look around Lyondell. Most don't leave the main fountain area, content to just split into smaller groups to likely process the last few weeks of their lives, because lord was it a roller coaster. I'm turning off my Minecraft sound. Yeah, like what the fuck? Stop me beeping! They took that better than I expected? Some of them? Look. Yeah, they- why don't we just make sure they're okay, for certain? Yeah, and we can I... just divide and conquer, and then well, you have a citadel to be getting back to, and I have the rest of these people to. Yeah, and feel free, like if you run to any other vessels, let I'll them know. Spread the word. Because we're meeting up right now. Just this is... get the affairs in order. Yeah. Because it's a high chance we're not coming back. So, and I guess enjoy it's... one final day in Mythos. I don't... I fought so hard to just stay here. And now I'm making the choice willingly to risk it all to leave. If it's a chance for them to live. I know. For Easton, and for Fair, and for... For all of them. <laughs> That's the only way we're getting through this, just keeping that in mind. I'll go talk to my people, you go talk to yours. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Where is it this time? Easton. Lol. Over there. Cat, if you wouldn't mind reading for Easton again, because God. He stands off for himself. Oh, you can go ahead. 
He stands off by himself, looking like he's making a strong effort to ignore the crap out of any and all of the surroundings right now. Robodog stays by though, quiet but present. Easton's brown eyes find yours, distrust and conflict swirling about within them. What am I even supposed to call you now? That's up to you. I have two names. I could have more. Is it now? <laughs> this all feels like a dream. He hesitates, but slowly sinks down into the grass, sitting with his knees pulled to his chest. He peers up at you, and you're quick to join him, finding yourself a spot opposite of him. Robodog prances between the both of you, seeming happy. He settles at Easton's side. Good dream or a bad one? I'm not sure. On one hand, you're here. I kept my promise. On the other, I'm questioning whether I even knew you. If I even want to know you and... Oh, regret saying that. That hurt, didn't it? I both want you to hurt and don't at the same time. I'm just confused. So am I, frankly. He huffs, picking at blades of grass. Well, a lot, a lot of good this does this has. Neither of us have clear feelings. Great. Is it stupid that I miss running through those dumb vents? The one with the gas? Wait, why would you miss something like that? We could've- no, we probably nearly died. Well, things were a lot clearer. I wasn't all conflicted, and for a moment, a brief one, mind you, it was a little fun. I wasn't sure whether you really had my back or not, but we kind of had to if we wanted to stand a chance of finding our way out. It's a little funny, because I never really was the type to enjoy adrenaline rushes. I'm not an adrenaline junkie, or whatever they're called. Just... Felt like since we were somehow still alive, despite all that, right then at that moment, well, felt like I could do anything. For just one second. It's silly, but... I really hated you after that. Those vents gave me such a nasty cough, and I had the worst time hiding it, but... Victor was worse? Yeah. Victor was worse. I want to lay down in this grass. <laughs> did... Did you really just say that? He gives you an odd look. It's not hostile, just... Almost like he can't decide whether he's amused or maybe a little concerned. Just... he's surprised. Why do you want to lay on the grass right now? Your fancy shirt will probably get stains all over it. Remember that time where we took a nap on those crates? The ones in the small partitioned room. You mean the time where Charlie gave both of us a heart attack? Yeah, I remember wondering whether or not my time had come, and... That was really how I was going to go. Groggy from a nap, thanks to you. Uh, that was so embarrassing. He buries his face in his hands for a moment, reddening slightly. Well, okay, the Charlie part wasn't the nicest. It, it was nice, I think. Just laying down, staring at the ceiling. What, are you just trying to take a nap to avoid dealing with me? You scooch over next to Easton rather than across from him before splaying out on the grass, just laying down and staring up the sky. A sky you might never see again. Come on, just give it a try, okay? He rolls his eyes. You're really trying to use my own words against me. Well, if that's how this is going to go, I guess it couldn't hurt. With... Extra dramatics, Easton flops down onto the grass beside you. Robodog adjusts, curling up into Easton's side after a moment of hesitation. 
for a bit. The two of you just lay there, staring up at the sky. Does it feel any different? Grass isn't the best comforter, considering the ground is also right there. Then again, I guess crates aren't good padding either. No, not the ground. Does laying next to me here feel all that different from when we did it back in the hub? Do I feel different? No. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. He shifts onto his side so he can properly look at you and you do the same. I feel like it's stupid to call this love, but I love feeling like this. And it's not just when we decide to act like idiots and lay in grass or on crates, but... When I'm around you, I forget myself. I forget to be nervous of people, and I somehow say the things I want to. Well, I make a mess of it first, but I somehow manage to get something out. That's different. This... All of this is different and new. Sylvain or Swan, what do... How do you feel? Easton, are you going to leave me? I hadn't... I wasn't planning to. I still need to figure out how to deal with this. He vaguely gestures to himself and you, offering a shrug. Why? Those that I love, platonically or romantically, always leave me. Whether they want to or not, but this time I might be the one leaving. N not that I want to, I- Sylvain, look at me. You blink, unaware that you'd instinctively looked away. Why do you think that you're going to be the one to leave? It sounds like you don't want to. The vessels. Taking a final stand against Rowan Pierce. We plan to kill him. But we don't know if any of us will come out alive. You have to go? I need to. For Lyondell, all the people here, they're my people. And amongst those people are some that are really special to me. I... I don't want to lose you. Nor do I want to leave you or you to leave me. He raises a hand, reaching out towards you as if you might shatter. You take his hand in yours, gently guiding both down to rest on the ground between you. But I think I've known you long enough to know that. I can't stop you. You can't come with me either. There's no way you'd survive against Rowan. But us vessels have a chance. I hate waiting. I only promised to wait for you this once and now you're here. I'm sorry. <laughs> of course this is the hand I'm dealt. He squeezes your hand and you squeeze back. What do I do if you don't come back? Never stop flying. I don't want my existence to bring you sadness. There's so much more in this world than me. But I want this part of the world. The rest can go burn or something. He huffs, rolling over onto his back. And you leave. Whenever the vessels call. Then, after you finish all this responsibility stuff with your town, come find me. I want to spend what time you have left by your side, okay? Even if I lose you, even if you lose me, I want to at least have that. <laughs> Agreed. 
I love you, Swan. I love you too, Wisdom. For once, I have something I really, really don't want to lose. I mean, it's always been that way, but... I love it with the others. You still have a job to do, Swan. <laughs> Robodog trails after you, brushing against your leg as you weave through the, them to stop in front of you, effectively stopping you in your tracks. The dog yips, rearing up on its hind legs to paw at you. Taking the hint, you kneel down to more eye level, carefully offering the dog a few pats. Fortunately, he seems to be in good condition. At least one thing of theirs survived. Sylvain. What the hell? At your shock, Robodog nuzzles a little closer to you, pressing their cold metallic nose into your palm. The voice sounded like fair, but that's impossible. He's dead. You can't undo that. But is this coming from Robodog? This will alarm you, and I apologize for that, dear girl. I have decided to record this before I descend after you. I know Rookie will keep it safe for us both. If matters are favourable, then I look forward to removing and discarding this recording. But uh, why must I ramble when time is of the essence? The audio continues. You can hear shuffling, like we fear fumbling with something in his office. He seems rushed, yet I'll be calm. Is this just before he... If you are hearing this... And I am dead. I wish for you to know that I do this with no regrets. I chose you over me, a choice I make now and again. I've thought this through. From the moment I learned of your skill to the times I've seen you struggle, you have reminded me of myself. I'm not trying to live through you. That is not a pressure I wish to put upon you. Rather, in my own life, I wish that I was allowed to flourish. I want more than anything for you to not end up like I did, buried in this coffin of a place slaving away for a cause you no longer even believe in, until it too strips from you your reason to live. I have seen it happen with myself, with Victor, and it has even cost poor Vivian her own life. All of us lost, forgotten. There is a world out there that we all gave up or forgot in order to survive or advance. I was too ambitious. I wanted to be a part of something great. And in my foolish years, I lost it all in an instant. So now I have chosen you. You are hurt, but not broken. You are bright, but no humility. You are sure, but not cruel. You make mistakes, but you do not let them ruin you. This all I see in you, and I am proud. I have found my final fight, and if I must die, I will do so with no regrets. I hope that you can accept this and understand that you are guilty of nothing. One day you two shall find your final fight. Not too soon, I hope, but... <laughs> I have hardly lived these past few years, and yet when it comes to dying, I hesitate. Not out of fear, but because I promised you that I'd live. I wish I did not have to break this promise to you, dear girl. And with all of this, I hardly feel like I am in any place to ask favours of you, but... Would you take care of Rookie for me? I think you and him make a great team. I see no other with which he would gladly walk, side, walk alongside. I must go find you now. I am not great with goodbye, so I shall leave you with this. And she will fly closer and closer still, entangled in the light of day. Long be the shadows cast, no longer a grave for broken dreams. For she set he free, his last dream aloft. Now they dance eternal, son and she, for she did fly, just as you dreamed. Goodbye, dear girl. Thank you for letting me dream for one last time. The recording ends. Oh, Faye, if only I had told you. You died for someone that cannot die. Rookie whines softly, nudging you with his nose. You look at him, and he tilts his head as if curious, almost as if he's asking if you're okay. You shakily nod. I'm alright, boy. Just... 
a little sad. He simply keeps looking at you kindly, as if he were listening patiently. I guess it's just you and me now, huh? The dog's smile serves as your answer. Let's stick together, boy. What the? Where the fuck I jumped? Well, I have one more group to talk to, I do think. My own, Cade. I don't mean to interrupt your thinking time, I just thought I'd come over and see how you all were doing. I know we dropped a lot on you today, and it's something you never expected, and it must feel like I've manipulated you all from the beginning, but I promise I had no ill intent towards... <laughs> it's whichever you prefer. To you guys, I'm Sylvain. To others, I'm Swan. Am I Swan the Vessel, or am I Sylvain the Mechanic? Whichever one's easier for you to say, I don't mind. I mean, actually, if you look at the letters, you can almost spell Swan with some letters of Sylvain. Coincidence, actually, really. I didn't pick the name, but... I am oddly about coincidences sometimes. Are you two thinking you're gonna hang around here? It's available if you want to do so, it's just... You're not required to stay here by any force. That's good to hear. It depends on your request, but what is it? victim. The others I understand, but... Yeah. I think I can understand that feeling. I think I actually know the perfect place to set up memorials. We can do that. We can we can find the time. Of course. I'll leave you two then to your, your thoughts, your processing. If there's anything else you need, I'm around. I will be for at least a bit longer. Oh. Hey, Swan. Oh. Hi, I Swan. was getting them caught up on everything that is about to occur. 
You disappeared off the face of the earth. Gave me quite a scare. I'm pretty good at that. I do apologize. That's quite all right. It's not uncommon. Unfortunately. First time I'm seeing some of you in a while, and we get this size. Yeah, well, yeah. They were just filling us in right now, and how do we know that he's able to get rid of us permanently? Shouldn't that be normally impossible? With Primudio, didn't they mention something mm -hmm. about? And even then, when a previous Rowan encounter. They were planning on sacrificing vessels to the All-Knower. What? They almost sacrificed Candy to the All-Knower. They almost sacrificed Nebula to the All-Knower. That was a turn of events on that one. We got them out, so... If they could sacrifice Candy, the first vessel... That means any of us could be on that chopping block. Well, hasn't one of us already... If what I, if what Primaria was implying was true, mm -hmm. I guess I finally know what happened to that runaway. I'm sorry. I don't know what to think about him anymore. In either case, how far did you get? I got to the point where. I was finishing up my affairs and I would be making I was going to be making my way to the Citadel what? and to spread the word among vessels we are not bringing any of the people here vessel only it's vessel only us. no vessel one only. from this world dies by Rowan Pierce's well, hands if, anymore if we can die by his hands what do you think can happen to regular people Hold on, who the fuck? Oh. Uh, Wait a is, second. Isn't that one of Mint? What? Oh, isn't that Mint from the festival? Yeah. Danny? Is that the name? Danny? 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 Danny! Hi, Danny! Hi. Hi, nice to see you again. Hey, Danny. Hi. Didn't oh. want to encroach on the conversation. How much did you hear? <sighs> Enough. So, you, you know what we have to do. Yeah. Sorry for disappearing off the face of the earth for an extra five months. I know you, I saw you recently and I saw yeah, you. Yeah, and you were also yeah. asking for a job over at Mythia Valley, which was yeah. discussed later. I suppose well, that, not that, that's a... for that now. Yeah, it's a... Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. It's the time of getting our affairs in order. Yeah. But you look good. <laughs> Thanks, oh, got a bit of a right. makeover. Our son. Wait, other. What? No way. I said mother, son, not other. Oh, apologies. I was confused. <laughs> Swan, you've got big ears like the rest of us. I apologize. I've been through a few things in the past few weeks. It is not good. Oh, I've um, been through I things the past <laughs> couple of days. <laughs> yeah, what was I not included in while I was working on Vizia Valley? War. I can see Alacrim Edict. Oh. And then there was also our infiltration of the Alacrim Edict. I mean, as your second in command, you as your yep. second in command, I would have liked to have known you were doing that, please. I'm the one that kind of dragged her in last minute, and the. The fewer people that they... knew, the fewer people. Listen, I if I become hurt. more of a threat openly, the more of a target this place becomes, the more of a target you and everyone else would become. This was this something yeah, that we needed a tight grasp. Yeah, but have you ever heard of the phrase united we stand, divided we fall? Well, in yeah. this case, it could have compromised the entire mission 
I had a I had a couple people that knew about it just in case if shit hit the fan, so don't worry. I had That's people if you cover like bases. Ghost, right? You know our theory about Lux, his mother, Cover yeah. Shield. The one I the one I told the one I gave you. You were correct. I wish I could say I called it, but it seems like the very inappropriate well, this time is to say. something you're not going to have called. I, <sighs> I didn't Actually, believe it either. It's probably better that Ghosty is still asleep with us. Wait, what Ghosty about? Ghosty is still asleep. Wait, she... what about? Huh? What about Lux themselves? I'll get to that. Medea <sighs> was the greater ritualist of Cognitio. What? What? The huh? events of the infiltration arc we utilized Medea's help. She was the only non-vessel on our team. So of course we mm -hmm. prioritized protecting her. I have no idea why she didn't turn us over immediately. Perhaps some of our problems were caused by her, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Either way, she's been waiting for an opportunity where I was alone, vulnerable, and no one knew where I was. So unfortunately, it seems that I fed her the perfect encounter on a platter. Ghosty got captured at some point. Well, she didn't get captured. She got herself captured so that we would withdraw. She didn't want us to risk any more than we already had. Of course. Which is damn clever, actually, but... <sighs> so we sped up our plan to blow the place sky high. We used a bit of... Firefolk guy, I overcharged them with this. Makes a yeah, nice that's... explosion, but I had a bit of a complication. Yeah, no, doing that with any viz well, can do that. Eh, it wasn't necessarily... The explosion was fine, I was expecting to die. Yeah, that was kind of expected, I... but hey, it worked out. It works out. However, I had a problem with getting the setup, because one of my, I suppose, rivals within the facility came to say hello. Oh, did Apparently, they bring tea? No, they wanted to kill me. Oh, delightful. That's not the nice Anyhow. tea. Where was I? Right. Apparently, I suppose this is fortunate, considering we're going into an endgame. Yeah. I'll, I have I'll another ability you. that I've learned recently that I call overcharge. It's where I use the vis that I have in storage and I direct as much as I possibly can into my mechanics and I overcharge my physical capabilities. Is that such a good thing, though? Whenever you use too much, you kind I'm of... I'm bound to pass out, yes. However, yeah. it was necessary and they killed someone I cared about, so... <sighs> I... Either way, due to all these factors, when I respawned at spawn alone... At least I assume I was there, frankly. It was the perfect opportunity for Medea to come in and scoop me up. They wanted me for my this capabilities. I'm a battery to them. If they could mass produce things like me, just think of how much more powerful they could potentially be. I I've, I've learned that I can strengthen other people's thumbcraft spells. And I can also do this overcharge thing now. I was able to overcharge a golem, I think, at some point. Although that was forcibly taken from me. Either way, it would be bad if they could mass produce things like me. Yeah. That would be terrible. There was no way I was going to win against Cognitio. Not in the state I was in. Yeah. But then Lux showed up. He escaped, actually, our prisons. Not that they really could be called prisons. He wanted answers from his mother. Answers he never got, answers I never got, but he saved me. So he's a free man now, at least. And Medea's dead. Um, well, at least that's oh, a positive. Premunio was killed by Yukam. Yeah, I made sure that he could not leave, even if it meant using his own weapon, but... So, three graders down. Perhaps yep. our infiltration was not so unsuccessful after all. I mean, I'm really shush about the man, so... 
Wait, actually, wait, 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 this one. Mm -hmm. How's the new axe? Is, did it work okay? Oh, I actually used it against Victor. Oh. What was the one that was energy potential? Potential? Potent? Wait, did, did it work? Did my, did my theory work? Did it work? Lightning. Oh, fuck yeah! Actually, um, I even managed to summon the axe back to myself. It's probably due to magneticism or energy particles flying through the air or some other sort oh of thing. Oh my god, you, I, it, actually it actually worked. It actually <laughs> worked. It actually worked. Well, that's worked. only that if was... I use the Potentia Crystal in this axe. Yeah, I was going to ask. I haven't tried out the other thing. The Victor... purple material nap. Please tell me that's not what it's I think it's it is. It's Thaumium. It's It was made okay. by Cam. I, I the would other never give I her anything voidal. Okay, making sure that you didn't just tap into void metal. Because we've seen what happens when you use that stuff. Oh, I could scare you further. Do, 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 do it look like I would? Don't worry, um, don't what? worry. Oh, don't, who don't, are don't you? Worry. Don't worry. You're don't a fake. Worry. Don't, it's worry. Fake. don't worry. It's technology. Don't worry. I made yeah, it to blend in with the edict. The only spells it really can do is one where I almost channel my this through it in more of a bolt. It's not the strongest. I mean, understandable. And the other is some pyrotechnics. I wasn't able to replicate as much else. I didn't have the time. Yeah, don't worry. It's all okay. good. But now I know that axe works. I'm excited to see what else yeah, it can do. Lion Dowl. I mean, I suppose this is a part of Lion Dowl, but... I My axe was broken by Victor. He is the man that tried to stop me. Yeah, external cyborgs can be really, really annoying. And Lily, yeah. I wonder why she has not using or used her metal arm to her advantage more. Because let me tell you, no. let me I'll tell, tell you how much it hurts face. to be hit by a plate of solid metal. <laughs> Anyway, these are all stories and they are important, but the most important thing I think is these may be our final days. Day. Well, that Day. does tell me I need to get certain affairs in order then. Indeed. I recommend getting them done as fast as possible. Because I just find. A, mm -hmm. Just to think, a few days ago I was celebrating the opening of Vizia Valley. Yeah. <laughs> Lion the Grand opening. finally getting to a place where it has enough citizens to maybe be called a town. And... As long as the people have something to keep with them, you know? As long as the people I care about get to live. That's enough for me. Mm -hmm. Besides, we were never of this world anyway. Exactly. The time we got to Your spend here. Still friends. Yeah. The time I've spent here has been both a curse and a blessing, but I need to get a lot better at counting my blessings because Well, I I will be sad to leave this place, that's for sure. I'm certainly glad I uh, I listened to Marsh and let her convince me to join this world. One of the better decisions I've ever made here. Yeah, Marsh is actually on her way to the Citadel as well. I imagine. They're mm -hmm. a vessel as well. Yep. Well, we should go about getting our affairs in order. We could stand here talking all day, but... I wish we could, but... Vint? I should you okay? start making my way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm fine. You, your head was kind of, like, downward where you... You, were you, are you sure you're okay? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <sighs> oh. We'll be at the Citadel. I'll come whoever, find you soon. Whoever wants to come, come prepared and make sure all your affairs are in order. Of course. Spread to every vessel that you find. You know I will. The library has never shied from a challenge. Nor will we today, that's for sure. I guess I'll see you guys there. I'm pretty sure Rex and them are already like halfway there at this rate. Oh, could you stalk up. him for me if you get the chance if he's not too injured? He's, he's been through a lot. He just, he lost three friends. 
recently. That is true. Wait, did we lose other vassals already? No, no. not not vessels. I can explain. Yeah, I... you should get cut. Um, they need you. I had to think the first time I came in here was when the meaning of these statues happened. <laughs> back when the main troubles back then were just books being stolen. Uh, don't uh, remind me. <laughs> Thievery, books, yeah, friends. And... Before my time. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> A you lot guys... of stories do we hold to tell you. You guys take care and if you decide to help I'll see you guys at the Citadel. See you at the Citadel. I'll see you there. So. This isn't how I imagined meeting some of you again, or reuniting, at the very least. Or that the times are highly unfortunate. Indeed. Yeah. And at not the according least, to plan. We can say we were given a chance to say goodbye properly. Not everyone yeah. can... Well, not everyone has been given that chance. You well, hold the point? Mint. Mm -hmm. More than likely, me, Lily, and Chris are going to go on this. On this, and we might not come back from this. We're against Rowan Pierce, who has killed vessels before. Yeah. Who is skilled, likely, in some ways, at killing vessels. I. Realistically, our chances are low. The, pl the home we I've built, that we've all built into that valley. Mint, can. Can you and Jeffrey, take care of it, if we don't come back? I'll do my best. It's just going to be so different without you vessels. We'll do our best to come back. It's not like we want to leave you and everyone else we've ever met. That's but at the end sure. of the day, the time we've spent together is a blessing. It's a memory. It's a good thing. Even if it comes to an end when we don't want it to. Um... Let's yeah. have this last day without regrets. Yeah. I agree. Sounds like a good plan. Looks out. Looks like the noise drew out Zechariah and all them. Hmm. Zechariah walks up from the direction of his house, his eyes squinted in mild irritation at the hubbub of all the new arrivals. He wants to be Zechariah. Well, we, you've got quite the crowd here. Is Lyondell finally becoming a proper town? You say that like it wasn't a proper town before. And what's up with all the new people, then? Well, you're right on it becoming more of a proper town. There are going to be new residents, at least for a little while. You have enough houses for all of them? If there's not, I'll make do. I mean... There's still a good few houses to fill, but with this amount of people, hmm. <laughs> the man snorts. From behind him, Jordan and Cedric walk up to join the both of you. Cedric skips up to you. Hiya, Swan. Welcome back. Where have you been? Off on some cool adventure? Can I come on the next one? Dad? Well, uh... <clears throat> Well, uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> Actually, you're about to explain the realities of your next adventure, but another familiar voice sounds from behind you. River, why don't you take... This is Lux, by the way. Oh, okay. <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> Swan, I've been looking for you, but crowds aren't really the best environment for that. I've thought about your offer. It's... You turn around to face the spring hair animan, who promptly cuts himself off and he realizes just who is behind you. Big brother? Oh, gosh. Oh. 
There's an awkward oh silence and a tension thickens the air. Hello, Cedric. I'm sure you're all familiar with... Well, you'd know him, you'd know him as Lux. His name is Elior. Or Elior, I don't know. Either or, it works. Uh, and what is Elior doing out here? I promise he's not a danger anymore. Swan is correct. I don't want to harm any of you. In fact, I just want a place here in Lyondell and lead a normal life. So, you're not dangerous anymore? Can I... Does that mean we can... The boy goes quiet before he can finish the sentence, as if he doesn't want to know what will happen if he asks the question. There's another pause. He's right. I offered him a place here. He's changed enough that he deserves this chance. Uh, El Elior? Yes? Would you like your place here? T t to be here with us? What? What? I... I I don't know you very well, but... You, oh, I think you got the two mixed up. I, I don't know you very well, but... You can... You want a clean start. I can tell. I'm... Not... I don't know... Cedric cuts him off. Does that mean you can be my ba my big brother again? Because I don't blame you for what you did, and I miss having you around. I would be honored to be your big brother again. Why don't you two go and uh, catch up? Okay, let's go, big brother. Cedric takes him by the hand, and the two dash off elsewhere. Once they're out of earshot, Zechariah lets out a sigh. Jordan? Are you out of your mind? I... I don't know, Zech. I... I want to give him a chance, but... You know what he did! Are you seriously going to trust him? Uh, come on. He can't be that bad. This isn't your concern, River. Zach, please. I just... After everything, I... Whatever. The man storms off, his expression dark. Jordan's face falls. I'm sorry. Jordan, it's, it's okay. I... Shouldn't have spoken up. No, of course you should have spoken up. You've grown, Jordan. Embrace that confidence. You had enough to accept... Lux into your family. So stand up for what you say, okay? It's not wrong. Jordan eventually you're, sighs. You're, you're right. Thanks, guys. Of course. We're gonna go talk to him, okay? Jordan glances in the direction of Zechariah, in the direction Zechariah ran off, his gaze lingering. You, you go do that. It'll be okay. It will. See you later, Jordan. Yeah. Bye, Jordan. Well, well that was... I didn't expect this to go that way, but I suppose that's almost a perfect ending for those three. I think you've left some parts out of your story. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, like, oh, I don't know, Lux? Mm-hmm. Wait, no, didn't the... I say that Lux you, saved you... me? You did not, no. No. You did not. When Medea you had forgot, captured honey. me, she was pretty much going to keep me sedated until she did whatever the hell she needed to do to look at my insides or get at my brain. Whatever technology is within me. However, that same cybernetic stuff saved me in a way. The dosage she gave me was incorrect, so I woke up. But it's not like I could do much, I was still drugged, and I'd literally just been through a rather powerful explosion. And 
actually, hold on, how many explosions have I been through? From the sounds of it, a lot. Way too At many. At least two, actually, in the infiltration. I'm pretty sure you've been with explosion before though. that. Well, I'm talking about the specific, very close uh, area of time. Either way, I was in no state to fight, but I tried. So what else I'm... was I going to do? And Lux came to save you. He did not come to save me. It was a coincidence that he happened to escape and track down his mother at the same time, but... How did he escape again? Well, I thought we not... had him under lock and key. Well, yes, but the cells under Lyondell are makeshift. Yes, they're made of stone, and I made sure they're secure enough, but with Lux's abilities, he probably just was waiting for a time. I, I assume they went for it. And given that I've been off on infiltration and other things and spent a small force were kidnapped, it's not like I've exactly been around to add extra protection. And to answer your question, Mint, no, they were, his cells were not warded. Swan has made it very clear in the past to limit as much Thumbcraft as they can in, in Lyondell itself, so... He had nothing that he could use to break out on his own. Either, well... They broke out on their own, I mean, physically with their hands or whatever. whatever. I am sh- wait. How does Adriatic feel about letting him escape? She wasn't happy about it, but I pretty yeah. much- Considering that the fact that they escaped allowed me to still be here, standing here today, and not being studied and whatever to strengthen the edict, I think we're gonna let that one go. Yeah, I think that's the best at the moment. Lux broke uh, through some skylight in this old facility or whatever and confronted her and wasn't going to give me to her until she answered him. I don't remember. It's a little blurry. I was out of it. I was drugged and Lord knows what else. I just remember there was some stone axe that was nearly broken and Next thing I knew, she was dead on the floor. So, he... No, I killed her. Oh. <sighs> okay. And then he got me out of there after... putting me to sleep somehow? I don't know, I, all I remember is... I think another light mirage until... I think I fell asleep, actually. Either well. or, Lux saved me, and we had a... Conversation. It convinced me that he has changed in some ways, and well, we've both been tricked by Cognitio. We've both been fooled, lied to. Um, I guess that is fair. Just uh, hope they're not oh, still holding a grudge over me. <laughs> well, just don't call them a squirrel. <laughs> they're actually a spring hair animan. It's very different. <clears throat> well, if they're not going to be my enemy, and as long as they don't try to throw spells at me anymore. You'll be fine. I mean, if the Danny, are kid you ever... alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm petting my dog. Alright. Oh, okay. Well, as long as that... As lo well, Let's go talk actually. to Zechariah. He's probably had a hot second to cool off. Yeah. Yeah. Just, mm. No, he's over there. Actually, I, I was going to say if they ever want to rematch one-on-one, -on -one, but after I, think save your energy. I don't know I don't know yeah yeah you might want to save your energy Zechariah do you mind explaining what that was with Jordan and him yelling I thought you were moving past this well you've gotten quite the crowd here Zla oh what? that is not the right no, there's not dialogue. It's typed. Oh. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <sighs> I, I don't know, Swan. Just. Just what? Your anger bottled up and. What else am I supposed to think? Well, if you think about it this way, out of every single ritualist that I've met. Lux went out of his way to not harm any innocents here. All he wanted was to lure us. 
yes, what he did was wrong. He has done many wrongs, but he is also 19. And he, he was adopted by Cognitio when he was, I don't know, a child. He was raised to feel. He was raised in the edict. He was raised in the edict. And he was manipulated. He kidnapped Cedric. Yes. And he did not hurt him. That does not excuse kidnapping. But this is a 19-year-old child that has had no childhood, that was raised inside the edict, that was manipulated, that saw their mother die in front of them. And we'll never know if she truly loved him or not. Or if it was only, if he was only a pawn. Okay? He is thinking about a lot. And he is not some monster like other ritualists. He's always wanted justice. And he thought he was bringing justice because he was lied to as a child. And he didn't want that truth to come out because who wants to admit that they're horrid? Who wants to admit that the world would be better off without them? I don't see anyone raising their hands. So of course he hid from that. Of course he did. But it was inevitable that he wouldn't be able to hide from it forever. And now he's learning. He is 19. What do you want this child to do? I know you care about Jordan, and that's where this is all coming from, but... I'm sorry. I didn't exactly know all that. If it helps at all. The kid what the kid that kid had plenty of opportunities to hurt us to hurt Jordan. In fact, when he escaped, he could have just ignored going to to back there. He could have tried to take revenge on any of us, but it was a confused kid and he just went straight to what he thought was his mom for help. He went for answers. He had to remember. And he went because exactly. his eyes had been opened and he wanted the truth. Exactly, and honestly, mm. as much as I ragged on him, as much as I fought him, at the end of the day, I knew he was a kid, and honestly, what he went through, he didn't, I don't even think he got a, good, a proper childhood, actually. He might have... There was oh, a lot of manipulation, not... clearly. We saw how he was thinking. I just wanted to make sure my family was safe. Okay? Zachariah. That's a lot different from what you used to believe when you first came here. You care for Jordan far more than just a friend. Don't you? That's why you haven't left to go back to the woods and isolate yourself again, isn't it? Oh, you said people could change. Lux or Elior changed, didn't he? Well, I, I can change too. Every person, there's always room to grow, no matter what age. Well said. Mm -hmm. And does Jordan know? Yeah, what they said. Because mm. what it looked mm -hmm. like back there... Probably not. I don't know. Look, what that probably looked like to Jordan was that he stepped on your toes again and was annoying to you again. He doesn't want to be a burden to you. And he's developing his confidence far more than it's ever been. I mean, when... Remember when, he, when his kid was first kidnapped? He almost passed out. I don't think he would do that again. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, 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 uh. This is idiotic. I don't know how to do this. 
And you don't have to. <laughs> if someone as incompetent as me can do stuff like that, you can too. Just talk to him, okay? What's the worst that can happen? You have a reason to go live back in the woods again? No. Fine. Fine, I'll Besides, talk to him. Besides, if you're so worried Good point. about Lux, he's going to need someone of strong character to help him change. You were a we great impact on Cedric. I think you'll be the same for Elior. Uh, I mean, we, we might not even be around to help, actually, will we? Shh. Don't mind that. We have Ignore to go him. for an important battle, so um, vessels are going to be gone for a bit. Typical stuff, you know, I come and go often. Right. Vessel things. I agree. Yeah. Vessel things. S small little, you know, adventure, you know? You go clear your head and talk to Jordan. Right, right, right. Cedric, <sighs> I've just... I know I didn't mention it before, but I'd rather not mention to the citizens of Liontel that I'm just going to disappear, okay? I feel like they should know, though. I mean... They will they... learn, okay? Eventually. Should, they not... they will. should they not know beforehand? I mean, if we don't come back... Will they just think that you just up and left? No. I'm not going to tell no. nobody, but I don't want every person here to try to convince me to stay or to stop. They will panic. There might be, but it'll be better than the Look, alternative. Look, okay, I want to be selfish about this, all right? I don't want to see them sad or begging me to stay, begging me not to go get myself killed. I want this day to be a day where I have no regrets. Where I leave my people in as best a position as I can, with the best advice I can for them. And I already know who I'm going to have stand in for me in case I never come back. Okay? Alright. I already know. You're the leader. We should go find Elior and Cedric. They ran off to catch up somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, let's find a lighter subject. Do you go into the forest? They headed off in this direction. They did? I think so. I actually just don't know where. <sighs> Hold on. Uh. Lux. Uh, or Elior, I should say, actually. It's gonna um, take some years, too. Yeah, well, they always, ga they always gave off because of their strong affiliation with Light Vizia. They've always given off like a distinct little glow, I've noticed. So, shouldn't oh. be too hard. Sunchild. I saw a little. Huh. Oh, like that. Huh? Oh, what? Wait, that's a ghost. Wait, what? That thing Another besides one? Elior, that is a. I don't know the proper terminology, Rexwood. Ghosts a have spirit? stages. Ghosts, actual ghosts, they have stages. Do you not remember the one with our fish friends right this one is exactly like that my dearest son my dear son no. wait you don't son. think no mint cedric your brother's Remember? gonna be all right okay don't don't do anything but just be ready just in case your brother's fine I'm... He's just not so used to running around and playing. He needs a bit of rest. He just ran a little too much. Maybe you're big brother, but sometimes big brothers can be a little bit weaker than they tell you. <laughs> mm. <laughs> well, it's been a while since you last saw him, right? He's been out traveling. He probably hasn't gotten a chance to rest and recover. Look, your big brother will be fine soon. We'll help out, and then he'll be right back to playing with you, okay? 
So why don't you run off to go see your dad? I'm sure Jordan and Zechariah would love for you to come over. They might even have sweets. Okay, we can't promise yeah. that one. <laughs> it, it works every time. <laughs> yeah, we should well, if you give like... your brother a bit of space and air, the sooner he's going to be right back up and playing with you. Have you ever felt sick and tired? You've got to lay down and, you know, just take it slow for a little bit. It's the same thing here. Here, Cedric, I'll give you some cookies and milk. Um, just yeah. gonna catch up to your dad. I would give you coffee, but you're kind of young. Yeah, better not. Don't give coffee. Yeah, it's bad enough. I don't know how to mention your situation. The fuck do I ban? There's a bot in my channel. Oh no. How do I ban you? Oh no. How do I ban oh, you? No. Mint, mint, mint. Oh god. Mint. I'm, I'm running. Oh, mint. slash ban? Okay. Oh, I can't. Anyway, just. Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Just. Yep. You don't. You don't. Hug me, hug me, yeah. Hold on, I got it. Hold on. Hold I'm, on. I'm trying not to cry. <laughs> me too. I'm, I'm actually crying now. I'm <laughs> crying twice. Ban doesn't exist. What the? Okay. <laughs> I clearly don't know how to ban someone. Wait, that's it, Swan. Mod. Never mind. Give me mod. Hold on, cat. Type something in chat. Hold on. Go, cat. Go. Okay, I click on your name. How do I do this now? Oh wait, no, I have to do another command. Fuck, hold on. Oh god. Slash oh mod. God. Maybe this works. <laughs> Does that work? Did that work? That's it. That okay. Did that work? Are you modding? Ha ha! Ha ha! Gone! I, I at least knew the mod command. Aha. Anyway, back to our regularly scheduled program. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Just, okay. Shh, everything's fine. No one's crying. All right, Cedric's gone, Lux. Eliora, you're okay. It's her, isn't it? I never thought she'd come back as a ghost. Of all things. But the question is, is it a good or a bad thing? Yeah. Have you never seen ghosts before? Oh, well, you... I know what did it. Sometimes people have attachments or something I don't know as much about this as some others. But because of that, Lux, Eli Elior, right now she's just this. She doesn't look like herself, does she? It's because she's not sentient, for lack of a better word. Ghosts need to be reminded a little bit of who they were. And when they are, they take on a more sentient form. I don't know. I think you can answer one of your questions, Elior, about whether or not she actually loved you. I think if this really is Medea, What she's saying is proof enough. And there are other ways probably to help ghosts remember I'm no expert. There's a ghost town called Ravenguard, a library there too. But the question is, do you want Do you want her back in your life in this way? Because ghosts don't remember, I don't think, their past. Not even when they become more sentient. And 
take a deep breath and think. Just breathe in and breathe out. She's not going anywhere. You don't have to make this decision right away. Perhaps I don't really even know how, as a ghost like this, she got here, but... There is no right or wrong way to feel about this type of thing. When you are hurt by someone you love deeply, those sorts of feelings are confusing, muddled, they get mixed. And if they stay like that too long, they can just turn into hate. But if you can untangle that mess and look at what made you feel that way, then maybe if you think, what if I just be rid of her? Or what if I help her? Two choices, you choose randomly. Generally, your heart knows which one it's more opposed to in that moment. You can Your heart's confused right now. It's likely you could. Perhaps through you she can become more sentient. But I don't know a lot about ghosts. I don't know all the ins and outs. There are places you could look into, people that could help you, if you want to help her. If she becomes sentient, she likely won't have your answers for you still. Her memory won't just automatically come back. But... your choice. Give it some time to think about. An answer won't be easy. That's all right. Lionel's just over there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. That kid, uh, Elior. I know we didn't get along that well, but it's good to see that we're not enemies anymore. It's good. <sighs> well, that was Honestly, more intense than I was expecting. I didn't even Emotional. know... Emotional. I didn't even know a ghost could, was able to form that quickly. You said that... You said that it happened just recently, right? Well, recently, yes. It didn't happen just yesterday. It's been... Oh, we're different. I don't know how long. I don't know how long I was kidnapped for. I don't think anyone realized that I was missing, is the thing. And it would have probably been a while until anyone did notice. Well, I, if you were gone for too long, I would have certainly gone after you, but Mario, I don't know if we I... haven't talked frequently for quite some time. I think it would take quite a while before you noticed that I was gone. Landon? Landon? 
Whoa. What do you need? Oh. Um. Sorry, my brain blanked. <laughs> Feast. Huh. That's actually a really good idea. Yeah. That sounds like a nice idea. The old people of Lyondell and the new getting an opportunity to sit at the same table and get to know each other. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a chance for all of us to. I might need to grab the worms then. The, the worms? worms. The glow buddy is, yeah, um, yeah. They, the, the, the cursed. Mint has been trying to rescue the civilians of the Twilight. Or Millie. I'm still getting used to that. <laughs> what? Why are, why are you confused? You've known. Well, I knew about the Twilight, you know, them being cursed. I'm wondering where Millie came from. Unless, wait, was I told that? You you were told that months and months and months ago when Rosie was around. Have we seen what? Oh, Rosie, I haven't seen her in 20 years! I know I haven't seen her in 20 years! No one knows oh, so, me. Okay, you know, just, I'll just, you know, remember 100% something had happened that long ago. I know you were spent. No, hold on, hold on. I we're getting off blind. topic, we're getting off topic. A feast is a wonderful idea. <laughs> It's it's a good if idea. If possible, yes. I think we should throw it today. Oh, yeah. Do we yeah, have yeah. Do we have the supplies <laughs> for that right ready on hand? Lyondell is fairly self sufficient. Yeah, I mean, Tree sure is like just over there, and we've somewhat merged, so mm -hmm. we get some benefits from those crops. Mhm. Mm but it's doable. Yeah. Well. <sighs> I oh, guess. I know. Um, if we're going to have a feast, we obviously need a big enough place to eat. The only place I can think that has a big enough table is the library meeting hall. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like a good idea. We can all meet up there. Once the Lynn, feast how much is time ready, would you need? Are you sure you don't need our help? Would you like me to come assist? Oh, I'm picking up your name apparently faster than I ever did. <laughs> or me. Look, you went to do a vessel thing. Landon was here. I well, talked I to Landon. Knew you was, I knew you was mint. And you never corrected me. Well, apparently from what they Where said, it was a code name. Hmm. Or something. Wait, isn't that it's a, a given on the name. back of the shirt I stole from you? Hmm? The mark on your shoulder. Isn't that like on the back of the shirt or something? I can't. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So the ones that are VR on your skin are like a ranking system mark oh. of power. Yeah, the one on your shirt is just to make sure you don't get killed in the twilight if you're to go there. I could have used this when I went to the twilight before. Neither curious. That's, what I, that's what I'm saying! 
Let's get this feast underway. Yeah. Indeed. See y'all soon. Oh. See ya. Mario, bring the worms. I am not grabbing the wor- Oh my god. What about this one? You better bring them all. What about this one? I don't- I- Then- Ethan? You'll be quiet. If you don't mind, I'm gonna go up to my room and go, yeah. go grab some stuff. Uh, sir, we'll wait for you down here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll be right back sir, as fast as I can. Is you okay there, Danny? I think you're talking to me. Yeah. I just, uh, I guess I'm processing it all. And the changes, the, our last day. Yeah. I don't know, I go off the grid for five months and... There are... It's been a long time since we've talked about our family, Danny. But there are some things you need to know. Jazzy. No. Jazzy is dead. He has been for a long time. In some ways, in others, not so much. He was found and finally laid to rest. And... Odd. Resting place. A memorial Justin made him one at JFC. <laughs> it's... It's wonderful, really. But... Danny. Yeah, Mom. Soul. She. You know how she was out traveling, right? Yeah. Seven is her protector. Yeah. The other day, I tried to call Seven to bring her and him back. I haven't received letters from her responses in far too long. I was worried. He never answered. He never came. He has never not heeded one of my calls. It is his prime directive to listen to me. And the last letter I got from Seoul was a long time ago. I don't want to assume, but you know how weak she was on her own. That's why she was with Seven. And if Seven failed, I'm sorry. Out of everyone that we called family, you and I are the only ones left. At least that would be the case until, well, for the longest time I've been hung up on Soul and Jazzy and their loss, because I guess I just knew it's been, it had been too long for both of them. And I didn't want to admit that they were gone, not really. River, 
What do you think of her? You mean the one that was just walking off? Yeah. Her. I don't have any strong opinions, I guess. This would be the first time meeting her. But, I don't know. She seems nice. She was one of the first people that dared to stick close to me after everyone else left. Yeah, sorry about that. I don't want to continue repeating that I'm used to it, but... She boldly declared herself as my family. And eventually, after a while, I see her as family too. That doesn't mean you have to. I don't expect you to even still see me as family per se. What we had was a long time ago. Maybe not long in years, but it's felt ancient enough. You just, you deserve to know. Well. Fun. Yes. No matter. You are always my mother. But I guess I just grew up. I guess you did. I wish that we had time to talk about all the traveling I've done, but with what's at hand, I think I'm time to tell you. Maybe one day we can find each other again. I mean, we all come from the same world, actually, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm so proud of you. Become a very stronger woman. And you, a stronger son. Probably should have walked away from that one. <laughs> uh, it's, it, it's fine. Library is really funny sometimes. It was made yeah. originally because the people were meant to stick together like a pride of lions, always supporting one another, like family. But so long has it fought to simply remain. Maybe it's because we deserve to remain. I think we finally, we were finally worth it. We were finally worthy. Because this is a legacy. This... Whether or not we're, whether or not we're here in the end or not, this stays. Yeah. So do the memories of everything we've done. All the people we've met. Good and bad. All the research we've done, tried to establish. One day, this will become a school with more than just one teacher, with more than just one class of students. And we did this. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. We are the ones that made this library. It was not those that came before us, the ones that abandoned this place. It was through us, and those that remained, that built this. So today at our feast, maybe the lion doll we leave behind can become family. They can persevere and survive whatever comes. They're because strong. we made it to be like that, because we fought through everything else. And now it finally gets to stay. As does Vanguard. As does Ravenguard. As does Solterius Keep. As does Vissia Valley. We have 
have to trust that the people we leave behind the foundations we laid will be enough we'll be able yeah but let's not think like that let's believe that we'll come back right I would love to this world is a blessing a and a curse life. I've made so many friends and so many enemies, but time and time again, even when it doesn't seem like it's going to be okay, it is one day. Maybe not now, maybe not for months, but it will be okay. It will just try and place in all of our hearts. They can take us from Rem, but they can't take Rem from us. For Lyondale. For Lyondale. For Mythos. For Rem. We'll go to the Citadel in the morning, after we've all had a chance to finish our affairs. And just when I was about to do interviews for certain positions at the place. <laughs> yeah. no, Sorry, I'm... we'll we'll talk about that later. What little I knew of Jeffrey, and the lot I know of Millie, I suppose. I trust that Vissia Valley will be in safe hands. And I suppose it's actually a good thing that. Well. I wonder what's keeping River. Uh, I shouldn't invade their privacy. They live no. in my attic. Yeah, they told me about that. You know, they live in your I... attic. Hmm. Live in your attic. Well, you see, um, for the longest time, I didn't bother to move my stuff from our island to my new house. So I simply slept at my desk. And thus, someone thought your house was vacant. Indeed. Even though it said Swan's residence on the... You know? On the plaque. It's, it's the fact that I could have a nickel. The, a nickel for every time I've heard someone moving in without someone's consent or knowledge. I've only, I would only have three. But it's the fact that it's happened three times that it's weird. You know, they could have went over to my place. It's been vacant for God knows how long. Oh, I think it's the first time I stepped into that new place. I don't even know if Andrea ever moved in. I don't even Their know if I ever... over there. Oh, God, know. Andrea. I haven't seen or heard from Andrea. In... I haven't either. I don't even think I ever put anything in my spider den room. Wow, that's so bad. Wow, I've been gone for wait. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I have to make a trip out to the ocean. Oh? I gotta go tell my apprentice stuff. I have to. Oh god, I have to make him a guide in case I don't come back. That like, is true. My book. I can give him the first copy. Yeah. Oh, actually. I should probably leave that first copy here and tell him to come do it here. Yeah, most likely. But I don't... You didn't make it with waterproof material, did you? I didn't I didn't start with waterproof material. I didn't know I was going to need to. I mean, I don't to. actually know how one makes waterproof paper. Uh, you need the, to make it out of... You need to make a mixture. No, but... You need to make it out of seaweed. I, I, he's told me how they made it. Hmm. <sighs> Are you going to be okay while I'm gone? Oh, Spinner. This is Arya. I know, but my horse, Spinner. Yeah. Oh. We're, we're leaving more behind than I think. have... I guess I can't keep my promise to fair. I won't be able to see Vizia Valley blossom if I don't come back. A friend wanted me to take care of a robotic dog named Rookie. But I guess I won't exactly be around to do that. That and you, my four other dogs. You, 
Do you just attract every attract everything mechanical? Well, considering that one of my worst enemies within the infiltration, you know, whatever, was someone that I think they declared that they were about seventy five percent cyborg, like metal, just. Yeah, you just have a bad not from habit necessity. Of it. No, they cybernetically enhance themselves. Oy. You. You just have the run of the luck of it, don't you? Well, I worked in maintenance, so... Oh, yeah. If it was going to be somewhere... <laughs> you know, there's always something I've always wanted to ask. It was always a selfish ask, but... I guess it will never happen now, but... I've always wanted to know if, it, if there was ever... Statues of all of us, the ones who remained, ever going to be built here. I had plans for that at some point. Yeah, so, kind of late for that one now, though, yeah. isn't it? Well, it depends on if the person I leave in charge finds my old stone worker, stone working gallery, or whatever. I carved those. I've carved more. Just they have never seen the light of day. Well, maybe leave them a note, I guess, on where to find them if you so I choose. I suppose I will. I suppose my office won't be my office anymore at some point. Oh god. My lab. I spent so much time building that thing. For well, once in my life. We have to try rather hard to come back so we don't have to hand down these things. Mm. Yeah. Well. I guess, should we go check on them? See if their food is ready? We should probably wait on River. I have a feeling they'll be down soon. I feel like they got caught up with feeding the animals. Actually. River started to get into baking of some kind and has taken to trying to make the animals of the house uh, extravagant meals. Oh. Aww. I wouldn't know a thing about cooking, so. Yeah. Actually. Hey. Hmm? You know. Uh, our animals are gonna need to get some care, but question up. Oh. Uh, could I have that back? I accidentally here. Heard. Go ahead. Yeah, here you go. Thank you. Anyways, you think I haven't spoken to Cedric in ages? I still remember one called me his uncle, <laughs> but. Do you think Cedric would want a puppy? I'm sure Cedric would love a puppy. Oh. Well, here they are. Oh. Um, hi. Hello. It took you a bit. You alright? Yeah. Then why don't we go see if the feast is ready? Mm -hmm. Well... There was one last thing I kind of wanted to do first. Oh? Well, I know it seems weird, but I wanted to give this, even though they might not care for it anymore or may not even want it, I kind of wanted to give this back to, well, you know who. Oh, we all. Yeah. I know it, I guess it'd be more symbolic. I mean... I took it away from him because, you know, I well, thought he was just evil. He gave it to you, in some ways. Yeah, but we were enemies then, and I guess I would like to give it back to him as a friend. I think he'd appreciate that. Uh... Do you mind if I... what? But... the bot. I've killed it. I unfortunately do not have any mods in chat. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's you... late. Okay, we're good. Do you... Back to regularly scheduled program. Do you think I should go do it now? While I have the chance? 
This is likely your only chance. Yeah. Uh, I probably should go let Arya. <laughs> you guys mind giving me a moment? Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Sure. Come on, River. Let's step inside the Grand Library. Mm -hmm. Alright, fine. Go. Go, girl. Oh, as I lag. Oh, no. It's okay. Why does that door have the wrong panel? <laughs> I see. Who broke my door? Do you want to move me to see? Just to type. It's 1 a.m., River. Hello. It's 1 a.m. I'm proud uh. of you. Whatever happens, who knows how much time we'll have to say the words we want to say. Who knows, and I'll come up with something I wish I had the time to say. So I just, I want you to know that you are one of the best things that happened to me in this world. I, I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> I would say that's a little sad, but I think I'm past those days. It's kind of weird, but library, as much as even I wanted it to be, never really could feel fully like a family. Not like a real t close-knit group, but I feel like now, with you and Ghosty and Mario and Danny yeah. and all the others now, I think we've earned that title. It's something that I've waited for, for a year? More? Two? It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah. So the fact that it's finally happening... We've been talking a lot about what ifs, about us not coming back, about what we're leaving behind, but... Yeah. I couldn't tell us I was goodbye. Goodbyes are hard. Yeah. I don't want to say goodbye. So yeah. I'm only really saying goodbye to those that you have to. He drew you, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Leave that for me before we go. Yeah. Write a note on the back. I couldn't. Uh, the reason why it took so long was uh, he stopped by. Uh, we we chatted a tiny bit. I couldn't say goodbye. I couldn't. <laughs> Just... Osiris is wise in a lot of ways that sometimes they don't understand. I think he'll understand in the end. Yeah. We may say goodbye, but we also leave them with a wealth of happy memories. Yeah. But I'll do that when we leave. I'll leave him the drawing that is in his mailbox. <sighs> it just hurts to say goodbye to somebody you didn't think you'd have to say goodbye to. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? <sighs> yeah. We get to a point where you think you finally made it, and then suddenly you have to say goodbye. Not knowing if you could see them again or not. <laughs> and the thing about us is that we're vessels. We have the power to forge new beginnings and our own paths 
and even offering goodbyes. Yeah. At least it's better if we were the ones to go. Because I guess we would We would leave this world, but not really. Unlike the others. <laughs> the. Like Osiris and them. At least we can make things meaningful again. Yeah. I was <sighs> done sacrificing, but. The Citadel. I wonder how many of us have gathered. How many of us are ready to return home forever? To never log back in? Yeah. I mean, we won't know until we... We won't, like, <laughs> until with we the way Cam was talking. I'm just so glad that at least if I have to go down, if we have to go down, that we can do it together. Yeah. With all our best vessels. Yeah. One final push. I guess we just wait for them now. I made so much of this. So much of this place. I carved with my own hands. It was so wonderful to have a library of my own. What's wrong with the door here? <laughs> <laughs> there ended my monologue. <laughs> yeah, there goes the, the That's goes fine. The uh, yeah, no, I was screaming about that a little earlier, actually. Um, I don't know who broke my door, but someone broke my door. And they didn't replace it with the right thing? And before thing? I go to the Citadel, whoever broke my door, I'm finding them. <laughs> they are paying. We went from angst to, to shit posting. I mean, it's kind of a thing of like, you know, when you it's, reach it's, that point of sad that you kind of yeah. just laugh. Yeah. This is so bittersweet because we're all here together in some ways and we're going to all be together in the end. And yet, at the end, we'll... <sighs> Be alone again. No. I feel like whether or not we come back here or not, we'll still be, we'll still be library no matter what. Right. Right. Yeah. I like the sound of that a lot. <sighs> now I'm really glad our membership card wasn't called a library card. Oh my god, was that really <laughs> one thing you were tempted to call no, it? it was a joke from some of the others. We should have just called it something like The Pride. That would have been really good, actually. Where were you when this thing was founded? Like, my god! Apparently, about... Marshy didn't invite me sooner. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go enjoy our feast with our people. They're not just yeah. mine. Oh, by the way, Swan, mm -hmm. about what you said earlier about me not being around, sorry. It's okay, Mario. Unlike everyone else, you were like Marshy. You came back. And in all reality, you weren't too far away. No, I guess not. You were not. just in Visio Valley. So even if I didn't see you or speak with you for a while... You didn't go continents away. Yeah, that was one thing I'm still I'm still iffy on Marshy about. Oh. 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 There's everybody. I didn't grab the worms. How did they end up here? I would say that was meat. Uh, there, there may be some in 
the building. There's a oh lot. Oh my god, they're infesting the, the library too. No, no they're, they're not infesting. There's a lot. Don't. Uh, they're just good at hiding. I landed over here. Can I speak with you for a moment, privately? Oh. Pardon me, I stepped on the table. I'll be just a moment, guys. All right. That's all good. Please yeah. sit down. Yeah. Mario, I don't know where you're sitting, but I know. Landon, you are one of the only people I'm telling this, all right? And I'm not going to tell you all the details, because you don't need them, but... Landon, from the moment you arrived here, you almost became like my left hand. And I don't really know how to say this. It's hard to imagine, you know, imagine a library or a lion dealt without me in some way. That's because I'm the one who made it. But sometimes and a day comes where that person can no longer be around. That's the time to pass it on to the next one who will make it even better. To say it in a more clear way, if anything ever happens, me, Landon. I want you to lead Lyondell. With you and your sister, this place will be a real haven of safety, of learning, of knowledge, where anyone is free to be whoever they are. For you, that's Landon. For them, They'll learn what that safety is. And I think you're the one to give that to them. It's been an honor to know you. But I won't speak like I'm not coming home tomorrow. Not yet, anyhow. Shall we go enjoy the feast, friend? That's so awful. That's like the oh, worst one. That is the worst. <laughs> what are y'all talking swear. about? You need better care. I will not keep quiet about this. I will fight Chris. I mean, you could, but you could also enjoy this <laughs> feast. <laughs> I will. I'll fight Chris later because the child keeps appearing with alcohol. Wait, which child? River! River! I've just been given like go. four bottles of wheat here. <laughs> I like that's my one. Alcohol. Well, everyone, I'd like to say that I'm glad to be sitting here with all of you today. This table has never been full. So today is a momentous occasion. Lyondell started as a promise, a promise to protect. Now it has become a town for everyone here, a haven, and something that will continue on long after any of us are gone. To that, I say we are a family, maybe not by blood, maybe not by close relation, but we are a family because we chose to live here and we chose to make this our home. So, my librarians and my Lyondell people, let us feast tonight in the name of family. The family. The family. The family. The family. The family.
I hope y'all enjoyed the stream. And I look forward to what's to come. I hope y'all have a good rest of your morning, day, night, whatever time of day it is for y'all. I will see y'all later. This is Swan Sorceress, out. Bye!